Well, good morning, everyone. This is Larry. Larry Fishes, Tennessee. I'm. Uh, it's 4:30. I'm gonna fish today with a good friend of mine, Ernie, and uh, we're gonna go up to Nashville and fish. Uh, fish the Cumberland in a couple areas or in an area that um, uh, is pretty interesting to uh, Ernie. Um, we had a long, as y'all, if y'all watched my last video, we had a big fish fry. And um, I, I just think it's relevant that um, if you're gonna catch fish and release them, um, you know, the big ones. Well, the, the smaller ones that you catch, eight, nine pounders, um, you fillet those out. It's only appropriate. And if you uh, show that you actually eat them too. Um, so we had a big fish fry to uh, celebrate um, Independence Day on the 4th of July. So, uh, we had a nice big, big cookout, lots of people, uh, big pool party afterwards, then a fireworks show. Well, nobody, <laughs> uh, nobody wanted to be on camera, um, except my wife, because of several reasons. <laughs> I think a few of them was... Uh, there may have been a beer or two too many. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're going to fish this morning. I'm waiting on Ernie now. We're going to fish in his boat. And um, I've got all my gear in the back of my, my wife's vehicle. I'm in my wife's truck right now. And uh, it's an SUV. It's a Toyota 4Runner. And uh, I never really knew how much stuff... <laughs> um, how much stuff you actually need and use when you go um, big cat fishing. Uh, I guess you need about the same amount of stuff. Well, no, probably not when you're just going regular regular fishing. But I, I kind of plan for every contingency, everything that can go wrong. Um, Break-offs, uh, losing, you know, gear things like that I, I kind of got three or four of so we're gonna drive up here to nashville try to get there uh it's four he's supposed to be here right now and uh it's 444 he said meet him at 445 um we should hit nashville we should be able to launch at the ramp that he's talking about a little bit after sun up and we're gonna fish to about 10 because it's it's supposed to be like 107 degrees um, on the index, I think 96 or 97 uh, on the normal uh, Fahrenheit temperature. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to stop off and uh, pick up some, some bait towels and some uh, drifting weights from... Uh, let me get this correct. Whisker Sinkers. It's um, my friend uh, Brian Ladd and Thomas Rutledge started a uh, drifting sinker company. And uh, they seem to be do pre doing pretty good. So I ordered a bunch of their uh, drifting weights. Um, you can uh, you can find those you can find them on Facebook. Um, I believe it's, I don't want to get this wrong, uh, Whisker Sinkers with a Z. And uh, they're really, they're really um, affordable. Uh, I'm getting, I think, six four ounce weights and four hand towels, I don't know, 20, 20 something bucks. Um, nice nicely made handcrafted um 
and uh, well, I got some new planter boards from Spread 'em, Spread 'em uh, planter boards out in uh, Woodlawn. It's a real nice veteran out there, and and he's got a veteran-owned business, and so I went to check out his operation and buy some of his planter boards, which I'm going to use today. And um, he's got a he's got a pretty sweet setup, and uh, everything you can need in a planter board in stock. So check him out at Spreadem Planter Boards on Facebook as well. I don't know their hashtag names yet, so maybe it's hashtag Whisker Sinkers, uh, hashtag Spreadem Planter Boards, or hashtag Spreadem. Well, planter boards, yeah. But anyway, um, I know that uh, ever since I've learned how to um, edit my videos, um, I still begin every every video, or begin and end, end every video with, this is Larry out, Larry Fishes, Tennessee. And uh, a couple of my friends said, Larry, we know who you are. <laughs> you only have to say it once. <laughs> well, I keep forgetting that my, I, I've, I've got editing software now where I can edit my, my, my uh, videos from shorts into a whole long video. So if y'all will bear with me, if you'll look back and go back to my, I've got, I think, 60-something videos out. If you go back, you'll see some of them sideways. <laughs> some of them are upside down. <laughs> and uh, I have one video that has, uh, I have 11 subscribers. Thank you, all y'all. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just started about a month, month, about a month and a half ago, a month ago. And uh, I figured, why, why not video all this fishing I'm doing? I fish all the time. I love it. And I've been catching some really big ones. So uh, if there's something you'd like for me to, some uh, particular uh, species of fish, I'm not stuck on catfish. I'm a multi-species uh, frying pan. Uh, I don't know how you put it. I have a multi-species frying pan opportunity. <laughs> so um, check out some of my videos. And if there's something, uh, sp a particular species you'd like for me to, to uh, do a video on, just put it down in the comments. And, and I do look at the comments. I try to answer as many as I can. Um, I, I've, been getting a, I've been getting a bunch. And um, I'll continue this video. Oh, and if there's a, a particular body of water in Tennessee, um, it is Larry Fishes, Tennessee. However, I do fish in Kentucky, uh, Alabama, uh, North Carolina, and uh, Georgia. And here's my friend Ernie now. So if there's something you'd like for me to do, um, video, fish, just put it down in the comments and uh, I'll get to it. <clears throat> but I'm going to wrap it up for right now and let's go get on the water. All right, Larry Fishes, Tennessee is going to Nashville. All right, we'll see you. All right, we're down here in Nashville at Lock 2 boat ramp on the Cumberland River. It's over, uh, I guess, by Briley Parkway, Briley Bridge, and we're going to go down here and Try to see if we can't catch some of these big catfish. Let's see if I can spin it around. I'm walking. Yeah, that's a steep ramp. Water's down pretty low. And we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. It's uh I think it's about 6.03, 6 o'clock. Sun's already come up a little bit. And uh my friend's out there right now. And uh, hopefully, we're going to nail them. Catch us a couple big ones. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> this is Larry. I'm out. All right. 
Well, we're on the Cumberland River up here in Nashville. We got all our poles out. We got them fanned out pretty good here. We got mad cats all around. Look at the mad cats. That's right, Matt Knight. Send me some more free stuff. <laughs> all right, I'm fishing with my good buddy here, Ernie Purdue. This is his fishing spot. What's up? And we're going to nail some. He's already had one hitting his, uh, what is that, the panther? The panther. new panther? Yeah. He's already had one hitting on that panther. But we're going we're gonna to have us a big time. So stay tuned. All right, this is Larry. We got, a, we got our first fish coming in. My buddy Ernie here has got one. As you can see, I got my, I got my spread and planer board out over here. A Mad Cat's Orange Crush right there. My Ernie Baker right there. And then he's got a Panther that he's got a, looks like a channel. Little channel cat. Now, is that a Sauger? That's a little channel. He got him a little channel. They've been messing with us all morning. Yeehaw. Yeah, it is. We didn't get skunked. That's an eater. I eat that one. Larry, don't eat that fish. Y'all gonna eat that fish. How you think I had that fish fry yesterday? There we go. That's about a good pound and a half. That's two good fillets. I'll eat it. What did they say? Stick it out like that makes it look bigger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Skunks out of the boat. It's starting to get a little hot out here. Skunks out of the boat. We've been getting hit by gars and these channel cats all day, all morning. But we're out here fishing for the big ones. We decided to throw one line out there and get on, get some fish in the live well. So first fish came on that Mad Cat's Panther. And it wasn't but a pound and a half, maybe two pound channel. But I'm going to tell you, that rod, you could feel it. You could feel that tip. You could see that tip. So that Panther, I got to give props to that Panther. There's that panther. Let me see if I can get it. Matt Knight, you make a good rod, buddy. Ernie loves that panther. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. All right, then. We'll get back with you. All right, well, we got another one, boat fish number two. We got fish number two on the panther. We're downsizing. Seems like the channel are wanting to hit. So we're downsizing. And I believe I'm fixing to downsize. Man, I want more Panthers. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I said I want I want to change my other two rods in for two more Panthers. Yeah, Matt. He likes these Panthers. We're bringing in these these uh let's see what that is. Channel. That's about a about a I don't know, pound and a half channel that's a eater mimi loves him so we eat it he's a fat little booger mad cats panther rod can't beat them mad cats got another one on that other pole on that orange crook that 2.0 that yeah had a hit now i got my planer board out here from where is it at i can't see how my from spread them and then I got this new uh, orange crush right here. And then I got my Rocky Baker. They all got body chunks, body chunk, big old head. We're up here on the Cumberland River, Lock 2, whatever that is, over Briley Parkway Bridge is right down the river. It's our secret hole. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot this is our secret hole. Y'all forget you heard that. <laughs> Come and come get you some channel, he said. All right, then. Let's catch us another. All right, we got another one. We got another one. I got one going on my orange crush. Oh, oh we lost it. That's all right. That's all right. This orange crush is going crazy over here. That's a little dink. But we're going to get him. That's an eater, I'll bet. All right, be right back. Well, folks, 
We got four dinks. A little small town cats. This is a real good, real good spot we got here on a it's no pressure. Nobody fishes this. Maybe one or two bass fishermen. Mainly it's a boat highway. But uh we're gonna come back. We were getting, I mean, just hit after hit after hit. Um but we weren't fishing for them little dinks. We had one one pole each out for those little small channel cat. The rest we were fishing for the big ones. They seem to still be spawning. <clears throat> so uh it's been glad to be with you today. And uh I see him, I see my my friend back in the truck now. So I'm gonna get on. And uh Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Larry Fishes Tennessee. I'm Larry, and I fish in Tennessee. All right.